guys it's rachel and welcome back to my channel so today i thought i would do a little prep with me for going on holiday vlog because i am going on holiday to mallorca very very soon and i am so excited it is the height of summer and it's gonna be so so warm and you know what we need it this year like it has not been very warm in England this year. I don't know what's going on, but we definitely haven't had a proper summer. So I'm so excited to go away and get some like guaranteed heat. So as you can probably see, my suitcase is in the background. Um, I just thought I would like do a little prep with me and show you what I'm doing because I feel like there's so much to do in preparation for a holiday. So um, I thought I'd take you along with me and show you what I do. So for this holiday, everyone keeps being like what that's so weird but cool but weird um about who i'm going with <laughs> so for this holiday it's definitely an interesting one because um i am going with my mum and my stepmum so a lot of people are like what why are they why would they want to be together like you know it's a little bit unusual but this is the situation for people who don't know what's going on my parents got divorced when i was eight and my basically it's really confusing because i lived in australia with my mum and my dad and we lived in england first then we moved to australia basically when i was eight we lived in australia and my dad decided he wanted to stay in australia and my mum hated australia so she wanted to move back to england so um me and mum moved back to england i liked australia by the way but obviously i was eight and i needed to be with my mum so um basically I live in England with my mum, my dad lives in Australia, and my dad got remarried like when I was quite young. So last time I went to Australia, because I have medical conditions and I need help flying, I can't fly there alone. So we had to do this sort of like parent switch off situation in Thailand. It's like, you know, in England, if you have like divorced parents and they live like two hours apart and you would meet one hour in the middle we did that but like in thailand <laughs> so the, the last time that i saw them we did that so because of that it, we all sort of like hung out together and my mum and stepmom become like really really good friends um they're so so similar it's really weird but yeah they are really really good friends and then anyway last year my dad and stepmom unfortunately separated they are getting divorced so literally like my stepmom was like right i'm gonna come and see you because i haven't seen her in like four and a half years so she said she would very kindly come and see me for my birthday this year because it is my 25th birthday just before we're going on holiday so she's come over for my birthday we're gonna spend time together and then we're all going on holiday together because we all get on really really well and we're gonna have a great time together so i'm actually so excited but yeah everyone thinks that's weird they're like to my mum only you would go away with your ex-husband's ex-wife because i know it is a bit of a weird situation but um we're all friends so you know <laughs> yeah it's just gonna be really really fun and like my stepmom's really nice my mom's really nice so we're all gonna just have a great time just a bit of a backstory there for who i'm going with but i've got so much to do i need to pack i need to do my nails um i potentially need to fake tan because i i got this really really nice tan from the english sun because we had really good weather in like june and then July has just been horrible and I've lost my tan. So I'm like, oh, it's so annoying. So I was hoping to top it up in Mallorca, but I might have to fake tan. I don't know. Need to pack. Need to do my nails. Oh, just, just so much prep to do. So I'm going to take you along with me. Sorry that intro was a bit long, but I just felt like I should explain what's going on. Please give this video a like if you do enjoy it and hit the subscribe button to see more because it really helps my channel grow and honestly I am so so grateful. So I just went shopping for some holiday bits at Primark and Superdrug so I thought I'd just do you a little haul and show you what I got basically. Let's start with Superdrug. Um, the first thing that I got is this sun cream. So I really like this sun cream because it's the mist sun cream. So it's Garnier sensitive and it's factor 50 and you just spray it all over. You don't have to sit there and rub cream in. And I honestly just love this so much. Um, so I have to have factor 50 because I'm really fair and believe it or not, this hair is dyed when I was a kid. I was a white blonde. So I do burn quite easily, so I need to have fact 50. And yeah, I love the mist because I have chronic fatigue syndrome and anything that makes my life easier is a win. So um, I just find it much easier just spraying it on and not having to constantly rub it on because you know, you have to keep topping it up throughout the day as well. So I'm really, really happy with this. I always overpack when I go away. So something I'm trying to do this year is like not take 
stuff that I don't need with me and just try and reduce down what I'm taking. Also not to leave stuff till the last minute and just pack everything that I can beforehand. So I decided to buy this little mini shampoo and conditioner to take with me because I was like, I don't want to take my big bottles and then I can just pack these straight away. And these were three for two. So I also got this little Corsadil mouthwash. This isn't actually really for traveling, but I did actually need some more of this because sometimes when my wisdom teeth are, like my wisdom teeth have been coming through for years, but they're not quite fully erupted. And as they come through, sometimes I really need this to like help clean it all out down there. So I got these three, they were one pound 50 each, but they were two for three. So I got all of these for three pounds, which I think is pretty good, especially for super drug. Super drug can be a little pricey. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with that. And then I also had to go to Primark, of course. I actually only went into Primark for face wipes, so I did get a bit more than that. So I got this little eye mask, which I thought was so cute. It's purple and it's got a little gold palm tree on. And um, I get woken up by the light really easily. So I definitely need an eye mask, actually. I think I called this a face mask. It's an eye mask, obviously. But um, yeah, I definitely needed an eye mask. I have, again, I have one at home, but I was like, if I just get this, then I can just pack it straight away and have it as like my travel stuff. I also got these little bottles. They're all, um, cabin size so they'll all fit in i can take them all through security basically and i thought this would be really handy even to be honest just to fill up with a bit of water or something so that you've got something that you can drink um going through security so you don't have to worry about like not having water especially as i have to take medication and stuff so if i don't have any water with me it can be a bit of a problem um so yeah i'm really happy with this and i did think that i could also put some um shower gel in it as well and then i don't have to take a big bottle of shower gel so that's really handy basically. I did of course get the two packs of face wipes that I went in for because you know, can't live without face wipes as a girl. <laughs> I did get this pack of toothbrushes because again, I just want to take a disposable toothbrush with me. I don't want to have to take my electric toothbrush, it's too much hassle. Um, so I just got these and these were 75p for a pack of five, which is brilliant because that will last me a while. And the last thing I got was nothing to do with holiday, but I just saw this and I thought it was really cute. It's a little white purse. I actually have this, but in grey and in purple. But I was like, oh, I really like the white one. So I got the white one because it was only £4, so... So I decided to go and get my nails done because I wanted nice nails for the holiday and also it is my birthday this week as well. So I've got lovely birthday and holiday nails. I just went for this like light pink colour and they look so pretty. So yeah, I am getting very excited now. So I've printed out my trusty packing lists because I always like to make um, a packing list for when I go on holiday just to make sure that I don't forget anything. Um, so I've got one for my like carry on bag and then one for my main case. Um, so yeah, hopefully this should mean that I don't forget anything I need. Right, please excuse how I look. I need to wash my hair, it's all greasy, I've got no makeup on, it's not a good look today. But that's sort of why I wanted to show you this next thing that I want to show you, um, because it relates to my hair, and particularly my hair when it's not in a good state. So I very kindly got sent some hair extensions from this brand. Um, I'm really bad at pronouncing things, and I'm not 100% sure if it's pronounced like this, but I think it's called Fahali. Um, I'll show you a better picture one second. I think it's pronounced for Hallie, but I could be wrong because I'm really bad at uh, pronouncing things. But they very kindly sent me a, a ponytail hair extension. The reason I wanted to show you this whilst my hair is in this state is because when I go on holiday, I've got really curly, natural, frizzy hair, and it looks awful when I'm on holiday, and I usually have to braid it. I walk around in plaits, looking like I'm about 12 years old, and for things like dinners, this is gonna like look amazing. So it's a literal ponytail extension, like it's really, really, really long. And they've made it really, really easy to use because it's literally got a drawstring. So you can like loosen it with just a drawstring and tighten it with a drawstring. So you put, put your hair into like a tight bun and then you pop this over the bun and then you literally just tighten it with the drawstring and it's done and you've got a lovely luscious long ponytail so i literally can't wait to use this when i'm on holiday i'm going to show you exactly what it looks like i'm going to go put it on and show you what it looks like but um yeah i just want to say thank you very much because this is going to like be so much better when i'm on holiday right there we go i've clipped it in i can't even tell you how easy that was you literally just tighten the drawstrings once you put it over your bun and look at that i've got like long luscious looking hair 
Um, so yeah, this is really, really cool. And you could easily braid this as well and do like a long braid. So yeah, thank you very much for sending me this. I can't wait to use it on holiday. So I'm officially going away tomorrow. And this is how my case is looking. I think I'm doing pretty well with my packing. Um, I think I've got most of the essentials packed. I haven't actually ticked anything off my packing list though, so I think I'm going to go through and tick off everything that's done because I just want to know what I've got and how much more I've got to go. Right, so I've just gone through and ticked everything off and I've actually ticked loads of stuff off. So I'm quite happy with that because a lot of the other stuff is stuff that I just can't do until tomorrow morning because I'm going to use, need to use it tonight or tomorrow, so I think I'm doing quite well. So that is it for my trip with me for Mallorca video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I am so excited for this holiday. It's very much needed. Um, please like if you did enjoy that video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.